idea where you are. Another drone coming through. Joining you, joining you, joining you. Side zero, zero finger and switch. One in two hall. One in. Bald. Dead. Ah, poor. What's up, guys? Today we're doing an upper guide on how to play as Valkyrie in Rainbow Six Siege 2024. Today we're going to be going through Valkyrie, talking all about how to play as Valkyrie and win more matches and rank up while playing Valkyrie. Let's go through the loadout, shall we? So you have the MPX and it's Baz 12. All about that MPX, I like to run a 1X flash header vertical grip laser because a lot of times I'm going to run around. I want to be able to ADS quicker. And honestly, this is going to be, this is going to be great. I mean, you can choose to run a laser or not. I probably would stick with these three though. I mean, you can run whatever 1X you want, but I like the laser beam. Spaz 12 is a little bit of a meme shotgun. So I suggest, I mean, you can see I don't have a skin on it. I would stay away from that when the MPX is such a good gun. And you have the deagle. I put a laser on it. Uh, sorry, a suppressor on it, because why not? 71 damage. I mean, it is really good for making lines of sight that you need or a hole in the floor, wh whatever you need. Uh, it's not a shotgun, but you know, if you have to use it to defend yourself, it does do 71 damage. So going for body shots isn't necessarily a bad thing with this pistol, because going for headshots is very hard. And then you have the choice between impacts and nitro cells. Honestly, dealer's choice here most of the time you're going to be rocking the nitro cell because with your cameras you can utilize nitro from underneath super well but you can also utilize with things we're going to show you guys later on with impact grenades making uh lines of sight above uh or below an attacker that may not know you're there already now let's talk about valkyrie's ability the black eye cameras so you throw a camera you can throw it wherever you want and you can activate it and you know you're gonna have lines of sight on wherever the camera is at it will glow in blue uh, where that light is when you, it is active and that's pretty much it you have three of them so you can place them wherever you want and uh, they'll be good to go now let's talk on a couple maps on where to actually place your cameras let's really think about this so have I see a lot of people throwing cameras like this I mean not necessarily there but somewhere in this room where basically you know attackers in range of this camera the rounds basically already going to be over so let's talk about actually how to throw your cameras I like to use my cameras in spots that we may want eyes at uh, so we know for later in the round. So we can actually act off of it. So I can either place one here, this one may get shot, or I can place one up here if I really don't want that one to get shot. And then uh, I can place one, let's say, like so. I don't worry too much about hiding my Valkyrie cameras because it is hard for attackers to find them in the moment anyways. But, uh, oops, that's fine. So let's go through these cameras. So camera like this is completely fine because the attacker is going to come up like so. They're not going to come up in the hell. They can't even shoot that anyways. They have to walk backwards. So we're gonna have plenty of time to interact off that camera, swing from armory or whatever. So this, I have complete eyes on what's in master bedroom. I can, if I wanna play near armory, if someone goes to master bedroom early, I can nitro them from underneath. And then I also have eyes for white staircase. So even if I die during this round, I'm gonna have plenty of eyes to let everybody know exactly what's happening on during this round. So you can see like these cameras are going to give me intel before they're before the attackers are in a position that they, like, they can actually kill me or my team. So you, that's how you wanna be using your cameras. Just leaving them on site is kind of a lackluster approach to how you, sh you should use your cameras. There are certain situations that you might wanna do that, which we'll get to. Valkyrie is an operator that's going to be useful in every site. That's why she was banned so often, but with all the strong defenders in the game now, Fenrir, Azami, Solus, uh, there's a lot more opportunities to actually use the Valkyrie. So again, we're, now we're on Clubhouse. I like to place my cameras in situations like this. Boom, so now I can watch that blue walk. I can place one in dirt if I want. And place one in dirt if I feel like they're going to push through dirt. If I want to play for a Nitro, I can place one in kitchen. I can also place one on the main staircase just to uh, kind of know if someone is coming near that main staircase. Looking around. So I would either place the last camera either in kitchen or I'd place it somewhere uh, in dirt. For me, I'm going to probably place it in kitchen because 
to work off the nitro, it's out of range of you. It will probably get shot, but as long as I have enough time to deal with the nitro, I should be fine. So going through the cameras again, we have a nitro camera. So anyone playing underneath can go for a nitro, including myself. We have a camera for the main staircase, so we know when someone is getting close to the main staircase, especially when you have decent audio, you can tell when they're on your staircase anyway. So I don't really need my camera to physically see them as long as I can hear them to my left. And I, this one's probably not going to get shot unless they turn around. And then a camera for blue. So I know if blue is taken or whatever. And you can even place this camera up secret or down oil pit farther if you want to hold one side with just camera intel. So I could move that camera, let's say, to somewhere like that. So I can, I know if someone is even pressuring the staircase even remotely, which may not be a bad idea. Honestly, this is a little bit of a passive camera. But can't really go wrong with placing cameras. We're not going to go through every map and show you camera placements because, again, like it really depends on how the game is going. Are you playing people that are aggressive? Are you playing people that are passive? You can throw more passive cameras. You can throw more aggressive cameras. So, like here, I'm going to start. I'll throw a camera like so. When they drop yellow, I'll know. Simple enough. You could throw a camera here if you guys are trying to play a little bit more passive so you know when they were swinging the window. But honestly, just someone playing in this position, you'll be able to hear them anyways. So I don't really bother with that one. Again, I'd rather use my cameras for the crouch walk. People that might be walking around the map that may be a little bit more silent. I want to throw the camera there. So we watch down the visa hallway as well as the visa walk up. So all I know someone is down there that is doing his job. Then a camera here. Let's think. Uh, you don't want to place it next to the people cam that will get shot. But I do want to be able to see out that window somewhat. So I place the camera there. So let's let me open that window. A little bit. So let's go through the cameras. So I can see outside the window a little bit. I can at least hear the audio. I can see them walking up the staircase. You have the bottom visa walk as well as around. So you know if someone is coming to the staircase. So you can call it out within plenty of time. Uh, and then you have the yellow staircase. So one thing I like to do just on this map specifically, if I'm holding this visa walk up, you could even do something like this. Why the deagle's really nice. Make a hole like this. So if you see them walking up this hallway, you can place the camera like over there. If you see them walking through the main door, coming to this angle, you're basically gonna get a free kill. And you know, I can do that for the beast double as well. Boom. Walking through the beast double. Do I feel like they're gonna go visa window? Boom, visa window right there. Shoot them through the window. A lot of verticality. Valkyrie is a menace on the top or the down in terms of verticality. And the cameras make it so much easier because there's no real going wrong with throwing cameras. It's just where do you want to be able to see that you may not want to die while you peek your face out? It, it really is that simple because even if they shoot your Valkyrie camera, that's more intel for your team. If I, this camera is shot, then I know at the very least that someone is messing around the bottom visa staircase so i would still call that out i remember where my cams are at so if the camera is gone i can call out hey someone's near top yellow or hey someone's near bottom visa hey uh someone's around spiral so now i'll get to some valkyrie gameplay now let's go through some valkyrie gameplay of me utilizing the cameras and just how to play valkyrie so i throw a camera i hear someone ash breach in we take her down no one comes in Guy runs off, so I swing into the angle he's not going to be ready for. We find the kill. Come back up. I hit, hit the guy with the nitro, taking them out. So now we're downstairs. Nitro over the top again. I take one out. I run out. Shield is still up, but super easy to take down shields. So not not too much camera work here because a lot again like. The big, biggest thing about Valkyrie that I love is using my cameras. Like I Like here, I have a camera top blue, so I know nobody's coming down the blue staircase. So I just completely ignore it because I already checked it. So instead, I just rush the guy's sewer. We kill the calf game. We kill the Grim or the TK, but three of them go down. All right, so here it is now a 1v3. We take down one. They're planted. So I'm rotating around looking for the last couple guys. No one's half wall. We take him down as well. Ash wings out close. We take them down as well. When I play Valkyrie, I'm playing 
very aggressive because I know even if I go down, I'm going to have a lot of calls from the rest of my team. And I can play off my own intel and farm a bunch of kills. I can try to throw him out the hatch, we run up, kill him. Rotate around. I know they're pushing blue. I'm not really sure where. Buck's wall open. We find him. Deimos. Average Deimos player right now. How she goes. Taking down two of them. Year one secret. Free fire out. He doesn't swing. He with the firefight anyways. Now it's a 3v1. As you can church. He runs in and we do get the ace there. Hop reach. People are dumb. So this is one of the things I was talking about with the impacts. This could be beneficial for you. Or you can make it in advance with a deagle. So I nitro the vert just to see the angle, just to get the kill, just like that. And then Damos is tracking me and he'll forget you can jump out those windows. <laughs> so here we're on lair and I'm trying to play for a nitro underneath. So I'm underneath playing for my nitro. I hear a buck come in, we win the firefight. Oh, sorry, I'm not playing for Nitro underneath. This, that's for a different round. We'll get to that. But uh, they're underneath. So I thought potentially I might be able to do some type of run out here. I hear someone close. So I take him out. I run over and just drop it off in front of the clash and get the Nitro kill. We run over to Warehouse. We find the fourth. And then the Ayana clone. I'm not really sure what Ayana's doing. One of the reasons why every time I do my Ayana operator guides, I'm not talking too much about the clone because this is what people think that uh, you do with the clones. You do not use it like that. So now, so even on this round, I have a camera underneath to see when they're, if they're going to entry through that room so I can just go into the room next door and just nitro them for free. So I even put a camera down there just to see that. And they're all running up. I'm not going off of where they are. I'm anticipating where they're going to get the nitro. So you see three of them in there. One's already there. So I mark it, run over, hit it with a nitro, boom. And I got a 2K. It's like that 5v5 to a 5v3, just based off of Valkyrie cameras alone. So another thing I like to use Valkyrie cameras on is uh, watching staircases. I mean, as simple as it gets. You can watch them walk up on you. With that Deimos bug. Deimos running up, goes down. Saw another one, and we win the firefight. All right, Morgan, guy's droning. I run up on him. The guy gets marked and killed. I drop shot a ram with a deagle. Almost died of the ram drone, though. Go for a spawn peek. Bop. So, again, Valkyrie cameras. I don't really need to having a position that like, you know, is super like on site, watch the bomb. I need it in a position that we are going to be able to play off of. So here you see the buck about to walk in through the bottom tower door, but I two tap the tower door window. I just jump out and just hit fire him down and an impact takes me down 60 health. But that's how she goes. So I throw nitro there. In a default spot, a lot of people like to stand on there. I have no intel on this guy. But I do see that someone died to the zero, which it tells me that someone is probably peeking those head holes. Good nitro. And then we run up and find the blitz. Now we're downstairs. They're all coming in through this door. We're holding, pre firing out. There's a massive crossfire going on. I asked for a lot of backup because I heard a lot of people coming to me. I told them to play the crossfires. I use the night just to finish off the down. No one swings out and then we finish off the last of the Deagle. This is a downstairs defense, by the way, but they all came in through the same room. So I asked for backup. Okay, Canal, the night you under reception door. So there I see my teammate die to reception door. This is kind of what you need to do when you're solo queue is use your teammates as intel as well like you have cameras sure but your teammates are also cameras that can shoot back and you know an enemy's not going to get that close to them unless they can see them so i know that that guy dying means that someone walked in reception door 100 percent. so i don't really need a camera for this free kill 
One was up top, swings down, we win the firefight out. There's another one, the Ash. A little bit of a cluster firefight. Light her up a bit, bring the Deagle out. I'm going for a body shot here because I know that he's hurt. There it is. And we find the ace. Coastline. I, the funny thing is, is, I do have cameras in there, which is where those yellow pings are coming off from. I do have them giving me calls on this. So, you know, I know exactly where they're at. Jump out the last second and jump out the penthouse window. Another one outside penthouse. Upside down repel. Let's kind of farm and kills here. Biggest thing is I just love the MPX running around with this gun. This is why so many Warden players did it with scoped guns, but it's still a lot of fun to do with a 1X. And even better when you have Intel. Now this is one of my favorite plays on Lair. I'm just on the staircase. I mean, I do this kind of play all the time, staircase camera. So guy Twitch drones me, I pretend to ignore it. Like, you know, like I'm not worrying about that. I'm not watching that. Basically like, hey, you droned me. So therefore, you know, you didn't mark me or anything. You think that I'm a free kill. So they spread in full speed and you just pre-fire them as I come in. Another one's coming up. Take him down as well. One camera and enemy three kills. Buck walking all the way up. One camera and enemy three kills there. Insane. Got it. So now we're on canal. Watch it underneath. So I have a camera bottom yellow as well. I see another one and we pre-fire out. Taking him out. It's a carrier, so we walk up, we find a third. And then we go up top because we know we have the carrier bottom yellow. My team completely rotated off the site at this point. And we just wait for the last. Now on cafe, someone's Repelling upside down, we take them down. Two down two. One thing I love about Valk is her speed, ADS speed, and just general like maneuverability. Like, I still have people marking on the cameras, giving me just even just a slight intel. It helps out so much, so I, I know at least where one's at. If I focus on where the other guy is, they know where everyone's at. So I get the call that one's whiskey bar walking up the bar, and they have another one going through prep, which we hear I'm nailing the barbed wire. Swing that guy, run as fast as I can, and do it the last. Why do we make you wanted more cameras, we got more cameras. So, one of my favorite shots is play on a staircase, have a camera above, have a camera below, so I know everything that's going on. Guys walking through, and we just pre-fire the hell. We take him down. Get back on the camera. So you guys saw that guy up top, right? Let's go through that again. This is why I love having nitros. Guy walking, you anticipate where he's going based on how fast he's going and get a free kill. We drop from above, take down one, take down two. I love pre firing with the MPX, but it's oh. such a stable gun. Same camera, guy swinging into top square again. Got one top square. People love that. <laughs> Dad. Dirt. Last one, last two are dirt. I'm not sure what the ashes actually. It's one v one. Oh, he is actually coming from the same side. One v one play. Holding the angle. Waiting for shots. Guy tries to walk in. But Valkyrie is just so good at changing angles, getting that gun up super fast, and just being able to, to win those firefights. Menace from vertical, menace from the horizontal, menace from literally every angle. <laughs> All right, guys, that is it today on how to play as Valkyrie. Very easy to use, but tough to master. You can use your Valkyrie cameras in a wide variety of ways, and more intel is never a bad thing. Having more intel is definitely going to help you win a lot more defensive rounds in Rainbow Six Siege. And her kit with that MPX, the, you know, all those Warden mains, is the exact same gun now. And uh, you also have a Nitro to play that vertical 
potentially getting you a free kill practically almost every round if you play your cards right. Valkyrie is a menace and is a super strong operator. Again, that's why she was banned so often. But there's a lot of defenders in Siege that are really good. It is Zombie Solus, the Fender, the Two Brow, maybe the Capkin. There's a lot of defenders that could be potentially banned. So Valkyrie has been getting a lot more gameplay as of late, especially for you console guys. More intel is never bad. And that's it for today. Make sure to subscribe, drop a comment, leave a like down below for more, and let me know what operator you guys want to see next time. Peace out.